Let's now turn to Buck Sexton, co-host of the Clay Travis and Buck Sexton show. All right, so Buck, you react to, you know, what you saw on stage there or anything else that we talked about at the top of the monologue. Well, one thing that's remarkable, Jesse, is that you had Lee Zeldin, who's running to change the bail reform law. He's talking, among other things, he's talking about bail reform. He's attacked by a guy on stage. He immediately tweets out, Zeldin does, this guy's going to probably be out in a couple of hours. And then the guy's out in a couple of hours. I mean, this is almost like one big advertisement for why the catch and release system that we have right now has led to so many problems, not just in, in New York City and New York State, but in every place across the country that has tried to implement these end mass incarceration policies. That, that's the, the phrase they use, but it really just means stop locking up criminals. Let people get arrested 100 times, 130 times for shoplifting and keep letting them out, giving them minimal sentences, making sure that we don't actually over incarcerate career criminals. This is just yet another reason why I pray that New Yorkers wake up and vote for Lee Zeldin over Hochul coming up, because it's not going to change with these Democrats in charge. Can you explain to me, Buck, how you can attempt to stab a member of Congress in the neck with a sharp blade and you can walk out of jail just a few hours later? But if you call AOC a spicy Latina, she wants to throw you in Gitmo. Does that make any sense to you? Well, I mean, also look at the some of the nonviolent January 6th defendants who are now going on, in some cases, 18 months in solitary confinement, and no one believes that they committed any violent crime or even tried to commit a violent crime. Meanwhile, here's a guy who, yeah, he has this, uh, this strange implement, the self-defense tool. He goes up and, and tries to assault a, a sitting member of Congress running for governor, but the prosecutor in this case charged him with attempted assault, so it didn't actually rise to the felony level. And this is, this is another problem, you see, a felony level where, where he would have been held in custody. Uh, he could have been held in custody. The problem here, Jesse, is that they keep on doing everything possible from the top down, including prosecutors' offices, to make it so that crime is not punished. Crime that upsets Democrats, that upsets the Biden regime, that's political in nature, that they'll, to your point, send you to Gitmo. They'll lock you up and throw away the key. But everyday folks, including politicians, or everyday folks, and then also people like Lee Zeldin, a politician running for office, know that they can't actually trust in the criminal justice system because it's overrun with these Soros-backed progressive prosecutors and their ideas. Ideas like, if we just keep letting criminals out, maybe they'll stop being criminals if we're nicer to them. We've tried this experiment, and it has failed. Yeah, you have to protect your own self if you live anywhere near some of these Democrat governors with these wacky laws. All right, Buck Sexton, thanks as always on a Friday. Thanks, Jesse. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.